What's up guys, it's Boondocks here, and right now I'm about to start my third part of Act 1 of Contrast. It's uh, titled, The Problems of Three Little People, or Little Problems of Three People, something like that. And I won't lie, I've been having some issues with my internet recently, it's been pretty frustrating. Oh look, if I hold shift I actually slow walk. <laughs> I play Borderlands 2, obviously, because it's on my channel, and... I'm used to it actually making me run a little bit faster, so it's a different change for me. But that totally reminds me of Doctor Who. So yeah, I've been having issues trying to upload files just because I've been having troubles with the internet. The other day, for whatever reason, my computer just kept dropping the internet totally. Like, I just couldn't find the network. And there was nothing wrong with my modem or anything since my cell phone which I still had connected and that was totally fine so I wasn't totally sure what it was I did some Windows updates and once again I have to say I hate Windows but it's kind of a necessity just in order to be able to play games and that's unfortunate but you do what you gotta do I guess and well, nothing's really changed over here that I can see yeah okay thank you I know how to chip in the surface that's the main premise of the game Okay, I guess I better go in here. So I did some Windows updates and I was able to get my Two's computer back going. Loud in there. Oh, See? You meet a guy's wife, now he's got a whole new reason to make good. How come you know so much? Because my ma used to smack me every time I didn't know. I should try that with my kids. Well, I said it in uh, my other playthroughs you should beat your kids. That with him, I can't get in! The door is locked! I need your help! She just pulled the fire alarm? Oh my god! This little girl is ridiculous. Okay then. Uh, sure. Let's see. Freddy Fair. Okay, so 20 large. Doesn't seem all that much. Um, okay. I know it's film noir and it's old, but. Can I interact with that? It's hitting the E. Okay, it doesn't do anything. How about over? Oh, oh no. Okay, interesting. I think I was able to move this. Yeah, I can move that. Where's the shadow get cast? Yeah, that's not really helpful, I don't think. Looks like I just jump on the object itself. Obviously that that's one way ticket to nowhere. Can I go into the floor? No. That's just silly. Ah oh, man. Oh. Oh cool. Oh man, did you just see that like I was looking through her eyes. That, that was kind of creepy. Like I could see the back side of her eyes. Okay, a little bit more platforming techniques. What's going on? Oh, that's nice. It raises the light with it. So that way I can do this. That's my stealth mode, I guess. I don't know. I'm not actually not a big fan of stealth games. Like, I played Metal Gear Solid and everything when I was a kid, but... Overall, just not a huge fan. Okay, I gotta, gotta get light over on here, I guess. Or can I go down the stairs somewhere else to get there? Okay. 
puzzle solving, puzzle solving. Just gotta take a quick step back and kind of get my bearings. What can I jump on? Ooh, there's something else up there. Hmm. What the? Oh, no, it's just telling me to shift in. Uh, I almost wonder, was it... I didn't really check what the shadows were like when it was downstairs. So, let's take a quick peek. Hmm. Like over here now, can I do something? Oh, look at that. see what's actually changing. Hmm. What's... Oh, okay. I guess because I was hitting up and they gotta go down first. Makes sense, I guess. Now I wonder if I were to bring it up. You know, I like puzzle solvers like this. No, that that was highly ineffective. Um, now that I see these, no, grab it. There we go. Perfect. I'll get the other one up just a little bit. Maybe I should have gone the other way. Bring it down just a bit. So get up there. Hmm. Ooh, what did I just do? Um. Oh, that's like a reset button it puts everything back. That's interesting. Hopefully I didn't just screw myself and have to go back down. Let's see what happens if I bring the light all the way up. There's an open door over there. Let's go check what that is. I think this leads down, yep, to my little luminaire. 9 of 10 collected. Awesome. Almost done. And there's the 10th one. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see here. Is there another hand crank for this uh, piece? Because I think we had the two cranks for the other ones. If I jump down, I think I'll have to go all over again. Interesting. See, I'm not really totally sure where I need to go. Is it just through that gap up there? I mean, it does say exit, so I feel like that's probably a safe bet. Uh, I kind of wish I didn't hit the reset button. Probably got to do this all over again. Uh, I should bring it down first. Why is it on this? So, there's got to be a reason to get on the second floor as well, because on the first floor, that's how we get to the second. Or, we have to have the light on the first floor while we're on the second, in order to... No. Okay. So, it does need to be on the second floor. I'm dumb and forget. Puzzles. Oh, so had I not touched it, it would have kept the same height as what I needed it to be. Oh well. I'm sure it's an easy enough fix. Yeah, there we go. Right back at it. Okay. Now, hopefully those are going to stay at a usable height for me. I want to bring the light up some more. Now they're just going to drop down again. Okay. 
See that the elevator is open from this side, which seems highly ineffective. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. It's definitely an interesting puzzle, though. all the way up and then maybe I can jump across them. Oh, hit my head there. Drop it down just a little bit. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Okay, before I was getting a nice little side angle as well. Gotta lower this one just a bit. Wow, I can't believe I just jumped out of the wall. Okay. So now that I got the light on the third floor, I wonder if I need that one there to be higher and jump cross to get to that. Yeah, that's probably what I gotta do. Okay, so bring this one up more. To there. Bring this one down so that way I can jump up on it. So jump up on it. So jump up on it. Yeah. Okay. Oh no! No! Hmm. I don't even think there's a shortcut back. Oh, well, no, because they're on the second floor, so I'll be able to still jump up the way I need to. I'm hoping I'll be able to grab on to that other chandelier like I was able to on the elevator down there. Otherwise, I'm just wasting my time. Nope. Okay. Thank you. I remember how to pull up on the ledge. third floor. And if I hit reset, though... Oh! I see what I have to do. Damn! Okay. Okay. I got you. That's cool. I like that, actually. I, I was trying to... I was still thinking only in the normal space. I forgot that what I need to be doing is thinking about this in terms of the shadows. So, what I need to do is pretty much what I already had done. And by that, I, mean, I gotta try to get these as low as possible and still be able to get up to the other floor. And then, I'm gonna press the button and try to run over to the end and jump up on the shadow before the piece moves out of the way. Hopefully I'll be able to show what I mean. I should have been able to do it last time, but because I wasn't thinking in that type of dimensional space, it was slightly problematic. I want these low, right? Yeah. So... I think that's where they are, because I want them as low as possible. Oh, 
that's way too high now. Actually, I think it would be better to jump the other way. Assuming I can. So basically what I'm going to do now is hit the reset button so that way the chains start to move up and, the, and I'm going to try to run down and jump on these. Oh, I hit the wrong button. But that's good because I needed that up. So right there. Boom, right like that. That that was cool. I really like that actually. Jump out, pick up the last luminaire, and shimmy my little butt up that way. Maybe you could sneak in through a window or something. I don't know why that took me as and long as it did. Me in. But uh Yeah. It was still engaging. And of course, I'm going to do a little bit of exploring first before I try to see if that is the direct way to go. Just press that button see if it changes anything. Doubt it. There is another reset button. Shadow dash through the walls. Okay. The problems are three little people. Whoa. Why did you have to come back to me? I want to come home, Cat. And you got another pot of gold at the end. Oh no! So I guess you don't really die per se. It's just you get sent back. Why did you have to come back, Johnny? I want to come home, Cat. And you got another pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's the past, Cat. I've changed. Oh yeah? You get religion? I got lonely. <laughs> I miss you, baby. I'm never gonna give you another reason to kick me out. I swear. Never's a big word. Wow, this Feels is like I awesome. heard it before. Holy this time crap. you're gonna be nothing but proud. Of like, me. look at this hotel suite. I got mm, investors. Partly not talking because I want to hear. Yeah, it. I'm real proud. They're the ones who broke your finger. This? It's nothing. I got a cot in a desk drawer, in a door, yeah. a car door. Remember car. the horse doctor you were gonna fix races with? That was wrong, Cat. I know that. And the bar we bought, where your friends didn't have to pay, and everyone was your. Friend. Okay. Well, I didn't really feel like no, listening to them just arguing. Got enough of that I know, growing up. I can read your mind like no, I actually have it for good. No, Johnny. Not again. You're a carousel of broken dreams. You keep coming around and around. No one is ever going to love you like I do, kiddo. Get back. Oh, shit. Don't try and kiss me, Johnny. I'll lose my mind. You going to shoot me? Ah, go ahead and shoot. I got two holes in me where you and Dee Dee used to be. Put another one in there. Finish me off. What do you want with Dee Dee? You're not even a real father. What, you think Vincenzo's real? All he ever gave Dee Dee was her cute little nose. Yeah, maybe I'm not her real father, but I'm the one that showed her how to tie her shoes. I'm the one that put her to bed when you had wow. to stay out late. You took her to see his show. Did he change his mind? He doesn't want to be her father. He doesn't want to be anybody. I else. hate you. Jesus, oh, what are you doing? Mommy, stop. What are you doing? No nothing. Whoa. Mommy and Daddy were having a little fight. It's not a real gun. It's just a toy. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a toy, Didi. Mommy. Yeah, I don't think so. Holy crap. Are you gonna let Dad come home? Daddy. Please? Please let Dad come home? He's in pretty deep with some bad people, Dee Dee. Maybe he should make good with them first. Right, Johnny? Maybe I'm no good with all my family. Maybe I need my family to make good. Johnny. Yeah! Danny needs us! If this is another train wreck, it's not just gonna be you and the train this time. I'm not gonna let it wreck this time. No, I kind of kind of feel so for much. this dude now. Yay! Daddy's coming home. And I understand why the little girls is messed up. He's not my real daddy, is he? Oh, that was uh, that was something. It's for damn sure. Wow. So that kind of explains why the little girls so messed up. Anyways, that was a uh, contrast. My third part of the opening act took a little bit of extra time in that puzzle than I would have liked, but. Otherwise, I think it might have been a little too short anyway. So, I'm assuming act number two is going to be coming up next. And, yeah. Good luck, guys. Have fun. Peace.